Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this tutorial, we are going to create a Python program to download photos from Google Photos to your PC. So this feature is not available on Google Photos API documentation, but I was able to find a workaround to export my photos uh, using the Google Photos API as well as uh, some other libraries. Before we begin, make sure that you enable the Google Photos uh, library from your Google Cloud platform. Uh, if you don't know how, you want to go to Navigation Menu, APIs and Services, Library, and from there you want to search for Google Photos. And click on Photos Library API. And just make sure that the photo library API is enabled. And the second requirement is make sure that you install the uh, Google client library. So you can use this uh, pip commands to install the libraries. And I'll post these commands on my website and just copy and paste to install the library. And the other thing I want to talk about is uh, how to make the uh, photos exporting process work. So if you go to developers.google.com and under the guys tab, you want to click on access media items. And if you scroll down to, uh, let's see, so if you scroll down to, that's multiple media items. Okay. If you scroll down to base URL, if you have used Google Photos API to export media uh, metadata, you'll probably see these properties. So base URL, cover photo base URL, profile picture base URL. These are the URL addresses to access the photo files. If you look to the documentation, so on the uh, parameter D, so which is this one right here, from the URL, so if you can count uh, eagle sign followed by letter D, that will convert the URL to a photo download URL. And there are a couple other parameters, so you can also uh, set the width and height, as well as the, the crop uh, parameter. I won't be going these two parameters. Uh, I'll be purely just focusing on uh, this uh, download parameter. So letter D. Now, let's see. So what else? And these are the Photos Library API. Now let's go to Google Photos account. And I have a couple photos. So let's do this. So let's say uh, I want to back up my travel album. And in general, you can uh, use these uh, more options, then click on download all. And Google Photos will create a zip file, and you can download the zip file to your PC. But if you have to go to the same process to back up, let's say you have 20 albums you want to back up. And if you have to do that 20 times, then it can be a little bit time consuming and uh, cumbersome. So that's why uh, using Python, we can automate the entire process to save you time and labor work. So here I have a empty Python script and I named the script Google Photos Backup.py. So first we need to uh, import the libraries. Oh, and by the way, so make sure that you download google.py file from the link in the description below. The google.py file is a script that I wrote to uh, streamline the service creation process. So I import the OS module, and from my Google module, I want to uh, import my create service function. And next, I also use the pandas library and request this library. So you will need to install these two libraries. So I think you can install uh, request this library by using the commands pip install requests. And for the pandas library, so you can use the uh, commands pip install pandas. And that's all the libraries we need. Next, I will need a client. So I need my client secret file. Do I have that? Okay, so I don't have my client secret file. So let me go to my uh, environment. So I have an a environment I use to do my developments uh, based on different Google APIs. So here's my client secret file. Let me just copy and paste to my folder. I'm going to create a couple of constant variables. 
So the first one would be client secret file. And I'll take my file path. So here I can just take the file name directly. Oops. Oh, and I forgot. So I need to activate my uh, virtual environments. So it will be on my Google API environment. Next is the API name. So the API name is photos library. And version number is going to be V1. For the scopes, we need to use photos library. And I don't think we need the photos library that sharing scope. So let me delete that. And these are the four constant variables we need to create. Here I'm going to create my Google Photos service instance. So it's kind of like the portals to access Google Photos API uh, methods. And using my create service function. So the first parameter is the client secret file, API name, API version, and the scopes. And because I don't want to uh, export all my photos, I just want to export photos from my travel album. So which is this album right here. Let me go back. So travel. So I'm going to print my album list. So from the service object dot albums dot list dot execute. And I'm going to pass the output to an object called my albums. And from my albums object, I want to reference the albums uh, reference. I'll pass the output to my albums underscore list. And here I'll convert the list to a data frame object. Now let's just print the albums data frame real quick. So DF albums. And I want to print the output markdown. So mark should to markdown. Now let me run the script. And here I need to uh, authenticate my account. So it's going to be under my learn data analysis account. And just ignore this page and click on go to followed by your app name. So my app name is Google API tutorial. And I'm just going to click on that. And here I want to grant the permissions. So yes, and allow, and here I have a, so let me see, service is not defined. Oh, so here I have a typo, and let me try again. And I forgot to provide my list object, so my album, list. Let me try again. And here I guess name error. So I forgot to uh, rename my pandas library. So it's PD. And that should be it. Okay. So here's my markdown uh, table. So it doesn't look very nice. Uh, so, okay. So I'll print that as just regular data frame. So I have a pandas code snippet. And let me just put this on the top. I'll change this, I'll change the display width to 150. Now let me try again. So here's my ID column, title, uh, product URL, cover photos based URL, and we just need the photo albums ID, so which is uh, first column. And I want to grab the albums ID of uh, my travel album. So I'll grab this ID right here. And if you want, you can, uh, so let me do this. So uh, travel album ID. So I'll create my albums data frame, DF albums. And based on the title column, it's equals to uh, travel. Now I want to return the outputs from my album's data frame. 
and I want to return the value from my ID column and convert that to string. But I don't want to include the index, so I'll set the index to false. In case if my string has spaces, so I want to, I want to use the strip uh, method to remove the extra space on both ends. Now we have the album's ID. Now we can basically uh, retrieve all the media files from my travel album. So before we do that, let me create a function to download to perform the the uh, file download uh, process. So I'll name this function download file. I'm going to have a URL parameter, so it's going to be string destination folder. And it's also going to be string. File name is also going is also going to be string. So here I'm going to make a request call using the request this library. So I'll name the output response. And request that gets and will pass the URL. And here I'm going to say that if response the status code is equals to two hundred. Two hundred means uh. The API code is successful. And I want to print a message downloading file. So followed by the file name. And this will be file name. So from the file name arguments. And to download the file, so we want to say we opened and followed by uh, we want to concatenate the destination folder with the file name and we're going to write as binary as uh, f and here we're going to write the file so response.contents and once we're finished we want to close the, the file and that's it so that's the that's the function and to retrieve all the media files from the travel album. So here I want to use the service object dot media items dot search. So I want to use the search method. And from the body parameter, so we need to provide the album ID. Album ID. And this is going to be travel album ID dot execute. And because this output returns as a dictionary, so we need to reference the media items key. And I'll store the output to a media files object. Now I still need to provide my destination folder. So I want to uh, back up my photos to my photos backup folder. So I'll grab this uh, file path, not file path, folder path. And here I'll create a destin destination folder variable. So I'll provide the, the folder path. Now we need to iterate uh, each media file from the media files object. So here we can say for media file in media files. And I want to grab the file name. So media file. And I want to reference the name and the base URL, so download URL, media file base URL. And remember, we need to concatenate the, uh, the parameter, so equal sign followed by letter D. Now we'll call the download file function. I want to provide the URL, it should, should be download URL the folder path, so destination folder, and the file name. And that's it. Now let's just run it and see what happens. So here uh, on the left side is my Python script. And on the right hand side is my, it's my photo backup folder. Now if I just run the script. Okay, so here I have a uh, so here. Oh, so this should be file name, not nah, name. So let me try again.
Okay, now it's downloading uh, my media files. All right, now that's all the photos. So if I count it, there are 10 photos. And if I go back to my album, and I should see uh, 10 albums. So let me go back. Yep, 10 items. Now let me just open one of the image. So let me uh, go to view, make the icon uh, extra large. Now if I open my Winters here uh, image, and here's my photo export using my Python program. And you can also implement uh, different rules or criteria. Sometimes I will use my Windows scheduler, so actually scheduler, oh, task scheduler. I haven't used this for a while. But if you need to back up photos from your Google Photos to your PC, then you can schedule different jobs to automatically uh, back up your photos from your Google Photos account without need to do any manual work. So that's everything I'm going to cover in this video. And I'll link the link in the description below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.